All right, so today I stopped in a local coin shop and I picked up the SMS set and a 1964 proof set. On this 1966, we actually have a double die. Paid 13 bucks for this set. There are about four or five double dies. And if you look at his profile where his chin is, you can see obvious doubling all the way up on the lips. And then on, there's like three or four different varieties like this, but there'll be some doubling in, in God We Trust and stuff like that. But you'll see the chin first, and then there's some little um, die markers you can check to figure out exactly which one you have. Um, this one also has some pretty good frosty contrast on the devices. So that's what originally drew me to look at it. And then I did notice it is the uh, focus. It is the uh, the double die. The 64, I wasn't even really paying attention. I just, the whole set had some nice toning. You see that blue toning around the edges? It's also pretty frosty, especially the reverse was pretty damn frosty. When I got home, I just started looking at it, and actually you're going to see this is the, uh, the straight G reverse. And you can also tell by the, the two stars to the left of his left wing or the wing on the right side for us. Um, the lines do not go through the stars. There's a break in those two little right points. Um, and then the G does not have the, the horizontal line on the G. So this is a straight G. So, you know, spent 43 bucks. Ended up coming home with uh, two coins I'm going to grade, two varieties, and yeah, the rest of this set, I'll probably mix and match this set with another set and um, and sell it. But um, yeah, anyway, always keep your eyes out. Like I said, you can get coins anywhere. Personally, I like to look at them in hand first. But if you like what you're seeing, go ahead and like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.